Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word Tabletop Topics, Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the episode. And of course, we'll have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And of course, leave us a comment if you want to bring up something on this show or just give us advice on how well we're doing again guys thank you again for joining us at the tabletop let's jump right into it you know how that works if you do it too low they you gotta assault in. the drum pad hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's nuts bro what's up man nah nah you i mean you know um Tuesday went very well. That was fire. That was different. That exceeded expectations. It did be because honest. because we literally got two two people that have the same beliefs but different ideals. Different ideals. Um, different perspectives com- come together. Um, it got a little antsy uh, at some points, but they were able to stay cordial and have a conversation. Mm-hmm. And of course. We were there to just not only ask them questions, but then they ask each other questions. But Word. we were able to be the moderators of that, which is kind of remain like... Remain neutral. Remain neutral, which is like kind of giving the sample of what a bigger size and a focused topic would be when we transition out of the room. And no, I think they had a, a very good, a very good productive uh, debate, conversation, yeah, argument well, whatever a lot well of, informed, yeah, yeah yeah it was well informed and of course we had a lot of people that tuned in just to see and and hear their perspective because like i said everybody's everybody comes at it uh differently everybody, everyone's reality is different exactly everyone interprets the bible in a different light or mm-hmm. or whatever you read um and it was it was different i i liked it it was it's something that i want to do more of with different um, with different people, yeah, it's like I said, uh, Be- because both of them, prior to them meeting each other when they came here, never met each other before. No, nope. and now it's the first time. Yeah, we just had a productive conversation. Um, um, prior, with, prior, through right. through Snapchat, and then after that, we figured out a day that they can come together, and then after that, we had that conversation. But other than that, it was this is the first time they met, and that's what I would like to do, like. You bring, um, because I know you have three different friend groups, so you can bring, um, crazy people, (laughs) crazy people, but they will have productive conversation. Start throwing chairs, (laughs) right? (laughs) What you want, you what you what (laughs) I did everything right and And they indicted me. (laughs) God, that's that was. Quote oh, of the year, bro. Uh, shit. You know how everyone's quote of the us, fucking You know how everyone's clipping that, right? <laughs> that fucking everyone's quote. clipping that. Bro, immediately, like when I was watching the speech after, at the the day after, because mm-hmm. you know they recorded it, yeah, and posted it. Uh-huh. I immediately went to the comments. First comment is like, <laughs> the eighteen minute and three second mark is what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if I know what he's thinking, yeah. Fast forward. Yep. I did everything right and they indicted me. <laughs> I was like, no fucking you know uh, shit. Because it was like, the thing that threw me off about that, what's so weird about that, is because you know how every time they'll do an impression of Trump, it's usually like an over exaggerated version. Yes. But he didn't even exaggerate it. Like, he actually did it. Because, like, I know how Trump sounds, especially like when. Like, they'll take something he says and then they'll embellish. Exa- Over-exaggerate it. over exagger, But he actually did it in his own voice. Yeah, he didn't have to. Like, he over-trumped. He trumped his version of Trump. He trumped Trump. Right. <laughs> he did a Trump impression of himself, and it was amazing. That was, like, goaded freaking quote of the year. Oh, uh, fantastic. Goaded quote of the year. I fucking love that. That was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. You know, but I'm kind of looking forward to where... Where this the uh, that whole trial thing heads? Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. What is your thoughts on that? Me, um, I don't know. I don't know shit about it. I don't know nothing about it. You're just going based off of what you, they show you, or right? Well, they haven't really said anything, so right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Like, I have no idea, you know, where where this is going to end up. And, you know, we'll just see. We'll mm-hmm. just let everything play out. So, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that makes sense. That whole speech, that was goaded. That was a goaded mm-hmm. speech. That that has a lot of clippable, <laughs> clippable memes. Froze. Yeah, that's actually kind of wild. <laughs> oh, man. What is that? Murphy's Law? Murphy's Law? Bruh. Everyone's going to now clip your face. That's crazy. That's tough. They got the craziest, <laughs> craziest shot ever. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. They got the craziest shot ever. What's holy cow? No, nah, he's not on? on it. No way. No way. Did this thing legit brick? Oh, that's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. Mm. Well, I guess they'll just listen to my voice. <laughs> enjoy this yeah. crazy I'll ass... I'll be the only one talking. Yeah. Enjoy this crazy ass screenshot of me. I'll be the only one talking. Looking absolutely lost. I'll be figuring this out, but go ahead, continue. What, what were you saying? You said Murphy's... Murphy's Law. Everything Murphy's that law. I can't go wrong will go wrong. Will go wrong. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh. Mm-hmm. But no, no, no. So, uh, so something happened to me at work today, because you know how we always have that, that conversation where... Um, before we jump into the what we're going to talk about, but you know how you always have that con- we I always have that conversation with you where I say people always come up to me and and, and, and can just have uh, personal conversations with me, mm-hmm. whether it be in work or outside of work. But they look at me like, oh, I, I trust you and blah blah blah. And right. I usually hear the the usu- I usually hear the same thing. The same thing that they always tell me is, uh, and I ask them the question. I said. What makes me different from anybody else to be able to make you want to tell me something personal? And I always get the same thing. It's like, I get the vibe. Oh, you got good vibes. You got good bro. vibes. So it's good vibes. Yeah, so, so they're like good energy or good vibes. Mm. So I'm helping, a, um, uh, I'm helping shape the future of the company. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm helping shape the future of the company by training people so they can so they can know the right way to do certain things. Word. And literally, um, I'm showing I'm showing this uh, this young this young lady. I'm not gonna say her name, mm-hmm. but I'm showing her the ropes and all that stuff like that. And and for just that week that I've been there, she's told me personal things, which of course I'm not gonna say it, but. Literally, I said, what what do you see? Because I always ask the question. I have to know because everybody's different. Word. So I said, what do you see in me that makes you want to tell me personal things? Like, because you know how. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, so you, Go ahead. Cause, yeah, because you know how, you know how, um, they, by the way, guys, he's laughing at the fact that his face is still. Yeah, frozen. they can see. They yeah. can see that. Crap. No, they can't. Oh, and they, yeah, they can. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it's like what makes you what makes you tell me certain things that you wouldn't tell anybody else. Word. So, she she basically said, "Cause you're funny," and I'm. I said, "Can you elaborate on that?" Yeah, she that's, said, that's a weird response. Yeah, that's a di- that's a different response. So that's why I was curious and interesting and interested. And I said, she's like, because you're funny. And I said, can you elaborate on that? She's like, funny people are honest. Mm. Funny, funny people. Funny you know, and, and we, me and mom actually had a conversation about something like that earlier today. Because mm-hmm. I always told her, I was like, you know, there's a world that exists out there where it's like, there are, like, there's like bad actors in the world and stuff like that. Mm. You know, dark organizations and shit, yeah. you know. Like you, you've seen examples, mm-hmm. Epstein, and you know shit like that. Yeah, you know Cosby, all that stuff like that. Right, yeah. and normally uh, I always said like, if you're gonna speak on that, never be too serious in yourself, because mm-hmm. if you if you take yourself too seriously, you'll kind of raise red flags within those bad within those bad actor organizations. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So it's like you never want to, I guess, like. How do I say? Raise alarms. So the best way to deliver that is usually through comedy. You know really? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like it's easier to it's like a plausible deniability, right? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I was just telling a joke type shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it doesn't even uh, bid well for for comedians. Because like, think about with um, 
Dave Chappelle. You know what I'm saying? Remember yeah. when he like ran away to Africa? Yeah. And people oh, thought yeah, he was crazy. He, he was getting too big. And, yeah, and he's yeah. like, people were coming after me. And like, people assumed, you know, like the media was like, oh, he just went crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's usually what they say. They'll be like, oh, you're crazy. And then they'll find a way to delete you or, you know, make you irrelevant, I guess. Yeah. And I was just kind of having that discussion with her where it's just like, yeah, normally you'll find a lot of truth in comedy. That's that's usually the, the, the consensus. You know what I'm saying? But. Go ahead what you're saying. Yeah, that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's yeah. actually facts. Um, so, no, no, no. So, yeah, so I basically, I basically, and I said, that's very intriguing because, I said that's very intriguing because no one has ever, no one has ever really said, said what you've said. I said, you're the first person I've ever heard say that. And, there's some truth to that because she said that um she's like especially my generation she's like in my generation there's not uh, a lot of honest people mm -hmm. uh in today's society in today's world because um a lot of people tend to lie and, and and pretend to be something they're not but for you your honesty is you're you, she's like you're brutally honest but you're also comedic <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm too honest sometimes. <laughs> say, you're brutally honest. She's like you're beautiful. You, because she's like, there's people that are honest and 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 genuine, and then there's people that are honest and just to be assholes. Word. And I she basically that. said, you're honest to be um, genuine. So that's why that's that's kind of why I wanted to bring that up to you because again. Every time I get put in a different store or, or, or someplace new, I ask my, I always like to ask people because people seem to genuinely like to uh, talk to me and, 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 and kind of give me a personal perspective um, of their life. And I just basically wanted to understand where she was coming from or because it's different. You see what I'm saying? So, um, but do you feel that you use comedy to master the truth? Yeah, because it, uh, sometimes I think uh, the way the way I deliver uh, certain things, because I have I have my serious moments. Mm -hmm. Like, I can sit down and have a conversation with you and be serious with you. Like, um, those uh, there was an issue arise at home, and right. I and and she was trying to base what was going on on somebody else's personal trauma, and I I always and I brought up what I always tell everybody personal trauma may trump you as a child or when you are younger because you are powerless Word. but that shouldn't be an excuse to use when you're an adult because at the end of the day you're basically keeping yourself at, at, at in a stagnant place and not moving forward because you're letting what happened to you rule your entire life right so what i always say is this you can get you you get the help that you need so you can not necessarily overcome it but be able to live with it without letting it rule your life and the example i gave was let's say you had and i always sometimes use this example you have murderers parents are you going to become the murderer or the cop that's going to stop the murderer it's a choice just because you grew up in it doesn't mean you need to be it. I feel that. So that's kind of what I told her. I because but in their quest for for distancing themselves or trying to not be, they their try parents, not to be what they what, end up being their parents. Well, I mean, sometimes. I mean, I mean, look at us. Mm. Are we like our father? Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not talking about our mannerisms or anything like that. I'm just talking about the actions that he's take his, that he's taken in his life. Do we follow those footsteps in that sense? I'm not going to say what it is, but I'm just saying, do we follow a, a similar or same path that he has taken, or did we try to separate ourselves from that and be better than that? Well, yeah, your father didn't raise you, though. Well, yeah, well, I know, so, I know. like his influence, like. I couldn't even tell you, oh, well, this is how 
Well, it doesn't have to he be. He was. Yeah. Like, I could be like, okay, I can see myself and mom, uh-huh. but, like, I can't use him as a base for, or as a, 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 a rubric. Because we go based off of what we hear. Right. Is what and, I'm trying and, to say. and what I hear, I don't listen to what I hear. Yeah, of course. You see what I'm saying? So, but, regardless of But what, as a child, you, you, that's not what goes to your mind, because right. the way you're thinking now is not how you thought as a child. All you're thinking as a child is, I don't want to be like him. Well... Me personally, as a child, I never thought about dude. Yeah, like dude never crossed my. Of mind. course, right. but when mom brought him up, like of to me, he was he was a stranger. Mm-hmm. Like for me, yeah. So it was like I have no opinion or feelings towards a stranger, mm-hmm. regardless if you're my biological father, father or not. Or not. Yeah, I get like you. that's just how I've been since. Like, you're, if, you're basically like a stranger just visiting the home. Right, that's then, what I'm saying. And then you leave the next day. Right. Yeah, you know I got what I'm you. Saying? So like, I never really felt some type of way. Uh-huh. About him, and there was nothing. So, like, when mom or someone, uh, mom, one of mom's friends would be like, "Oh, you're just like your dad." Well, I don't know what I that don't know is. That, exactly. Yeah. I don't know what no, that I is. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. So, like, if I were to say, "Mom, okay, sure," I picked up some of her mm-hmm. habits and her her mannerisms and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, so I can understand that. So, but other than that, I don't know. Like, well, because because in, in that situation, the. What 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 happened with, not saying what happened, but in that situation, she used her father's past traumas to say that's the reason why he is the way he is, and I said that's not an excuse, right? Because you either get the like I said, you either get the help that you need so you can get better, or try to learn how to um, manage with what is going on, like a coping mechanism to help mm-hmm. you get through to, to mm-hmm. what you got through. But you can't use what happened to you and take it out on your children. And then, right, like at some point in time, mm-hmm. you become an autonomous adult. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And then you have to have that self awareness to understand that mm-hmm. these were the effects of the world on you, mm-hmm. but you need to have the self awareness to know that this is what I need to do to not reflect the trauma that was on me. Inflict on me. Uh, yeah, inflicted on me. Yeah. Onto others. Mm-hmm. And then find a way to you know, handle and manage that mm-hmm. in a healthy way. Yeah. And find an outlet, you know, mm-hmm. to 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 deal with that. Yeah. And stuff like that. But when you throw all bad decisions, bad habits, you know, defeatist mindset, mm-hmm. you know, like blaming just others. blaming on something that happened. Environment. Uh, right. You absolve yeah. yourself of all accountability. Uh, yeah. And it's like at what point do you take accountability for the shit that happens after you left that? Exactly, because uh, at you the end understand. of the day, the only person that can control you is you. Right. So for and as I as I had that conversation with her, one of the stock clerks walked in and she's like, "I'm sorry for eavesdropping, but what he's saying is 100 percent correct." Because and then she's like, "Cause I went through some stuff with 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 family members, mm-hmm. and I took that responsibility to try to get the help that I need, mm-hmm. so I can put myself in a mentally stable position, position right. where I don't try to blame my husband because mm-hmm. she's married. Mm-hmm. Try to blame my husband or anybody else for the stuff that's happened to me as a child or when I was when I was growing up through that those bad habits Word. and." She's like, and th- that's basically what she was telling me, and I understood that. Right. So, and and that's the that's the advice I try to give her, and then she's like, she's just sitting there listening to me, like, damn, what are you, Gandhi? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Gandhi! You're not funny all the time. I, I said I have my moments, but no, I, no I can have cordial or serious conversations with people. It's just I got tired of having those conversations. With people. And I don't. I rarely don't have them. It's right. just I make people laugh. No, 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 you're. I can understand why you have them. You're you're always surrounded by a social in a social setting. Yes. Like for me, I only save those conversations for, for my closest this, friends. That or in this room. Right. This room and my closest friends. Yeah. Like I. I oh yeah, for sure, man. I've I, given up having conversations with strangers. Mm-hmm. But it's like nine times out of ten, they're not gonna listen. They're not gonna listen. They and they like, like uh, right. I mean, sometimes, and I'm not. Uh, um, putting this on this person, but I'm mm-hmm. saying sometimes the people that you give conversations to. They like hearing what you say, but at the end of the day, right? They like how you make them feel. Feel they don't they don't hear what you say. Say exactly. Yeah. Oh, it feels good. The oh, way, it feels good. The way he said it made he me feel it, good. Right. But I'm not gonna take the action or the course no. 
to try to move forward with whatever it is I'm trying to move forward with. I just like right. hearing you talk. And that's where you're talking to me and saying, don't waste your breath on certain people because right. you can speak in their ear all they want, but it just goes in one ear and out the right. other. And basically, you're wasting your breath. Because so, you're just like, I'll give them advice, and then they come back to me with the same issue. And mm-hmm. it's like, the advice isn't going to change. Like, I'm not going to hold your hand and walk you through mm-hmm solving this issue yeah you see what i'm saying mm-hmm. like i got my own life to live i got shit to do yeah no you i, I get it i got my own problems to solve you know mm-hmm. like i will help you that first time around mm-hmm. I'll, I'll give you advice and we'll have a deep long conversation i'm not just gonna give you these one two and i need you, you and, and i need you to understand that's how come when you have conversations like you said when your closest friends they actually take your advice they actually Word. listen Word. it takes them a minute that it's not gonna change is not gonna happen in a day Sometimes Never. it takes one to two years, Never. three to five months. It all depends, but because everybody that's why I give them time. <coughs> exactly, you know what I'm saying? and everybody's different. And then when they come back and try to reiterate, you're like, "I'm not going to give you advice. I already told you what you need." I already to do. told you what you need to yep. do. So you like, know what why to do. Why do I got to re? <laughs> I'm wasting my breath. I already told you what you need to do. And that's just draining as hell. Yeah. It's like, dog. I'm just not like, your, I need more energy. Spirit like I'm, bomb. Yeah, I'm not your therapist. <laughs> what the fuck? I need yeah. to save this energy for social gatherings. <laughs> so I can that be, I'm going to lose energy, So I can bro. be tired and sneak out when no one's looking. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like, where the fuck did Jeff go? Yeah. And then I text them while I'm, I'm in bed. <laughs> All right. It was fun tonight, guys. Where'd you go? I'm in bed, bro. <laughs> When'd you leave? When'd Nine, you leave? Five hours ago. Five hours ago, yeah. bro. While what the playing, fuck? While you're playing bing, uh, uh, beer, beer pong. pong. Oh, yeah, I've been dipped. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I ain't staying for that. The whole drive and all that. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, my my stay out till 8 a.m. in the morning days are over, bro. Yep. I'm settling into my old manness. My old manness. When I would literally go out, what would it be? Mid afternoon, uh-huh. high noon, and then be back at like 10 a.m. the next day. Go straight to work. That's crazy. I remember go that. Go straight, bro. But you realize how different 20 is from 30. It's different because you feel everything. Like even you getting, even you getting near your 30s because you're 28. But even you getting near there, it's like fuck. I feel the effects. Nah, yeah, drink, I can't. Man. I can't drink like I used nah. to anymore. I I wake up early now, like I'm old. Wake up early. Well, I woke up at 5:30 a.m. I was pissed. I'm like, I was. Pissed. I see motion on the inside camera. I'm like, what are you doing? I was up so pissed. Early? I was mad at myself. I was mad as shit. Bro, bro. I was in there like working the truck at work, and I'm like inside camera moves i'm thinking it's bruce because bruce always moves mm-hmm. and tries to open your door but i know you lock it and i'm like i see this man in the kitchen getting a cup of water at 5 30 i was morning. mad i'm as like hell. bro what you doing i was <laughs> mad as hell bro mad as hell the thirst is real <laughs> start punching my pillow i was like damn it and i had my music on and everything too didn't work didn't work you gotta get some new music I need to do drugs that's what i need to do <laughs> You need to get back on them drugs. He didn't say all that. <laughs> I'm not promoting drugs. Allegedly. Guys. Allegedly. I, I'm talking prescription. Prescription. Yeah, prescription drugs. drugs. Yes. Prescription. The one, melatonin. Me, yeah, the one that helps with uh, sleep apnea. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Insomnia. That, yeah. that, that one. You know, the incense. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh, man. But yeah. yeah, man, it, it's just I don't know. Shit's different. Yeah, no, it really does. It's yeah. different. But I, I get, I get the point that you're making. It's yeah. just like sometimes comedy is the easiest way to kind of. And I've you. learned that because my 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 funniness or my comedic uh, take with a lot of people has evolved. Because I evolved with the times. And Bro, you used to be brutal as fuck. Oh yeah, man. fuck yeah. You used to be harsh as hell. Bro, I'm you like, told me to calm the fuck down. Oh, mm-hmm. you was an asshole, man. Mm-hmm. And that's why. And that's why. That's why she said some people be funny to be assholes, and you, you're, you're genuinely funny. Well, you weren't even. You didn't even say it in a joke. You just said it. I was like, damn, bro. Oh, yeah. Like damn. Now you, now you do a comedic, comedic take yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, I do a bit. They laugh, but they're like, yeah, man, what he's saying is real. It's actually pretty true actually pretty fucking yeah yeah for me i was comedic to be mean Mm -hmm. like i would just hurt people's feelings well like you said when you met a person you found five things wrong with them (laughs) before just in case they made fun of you fucked up just in case i think about the shit that i like you were a teenager jeff but you the only reason why you got you gained that was because people made fun of you 
uh, right for but, being big when but then i took accountability for myself. exactly and that's why it wasn't like oh i'm gonna keep being an asshole because people were mean to me and like mm. shit on me my whole life you know what i'm saying i was just like all right i'll just be different yeah i'll be different until someone appreciates me be being different no for sure and then and that's the thing and then you eventually got to the point where you've accepted yourself and then you're like i'm not gonna be like everybody else and then now you're just funny to now you're just funny it's not like you're funny i just am i am am. i'm funny and i'm not funny funny. to be an asshole i'm just funny yeah i'm just and and i proactively try not to like shit on people you know what i'm saying like i don't i never it's an exercise right (laughs) you You what I'll never like, turn right. a conversation into a roast. Yeah. Like, I, I rarely do that now where I just... You don't do that at all. Right. Where I'll, I'll turn a, a, a conversation into just making fun of someone. Yeah. Or putting someone down. Which is actually kind of weird now that I think about it. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's like when when you see a group of friends, especially men, mm-hmm. where it's like they're having a conversation with each other. It's like they can't have a normal conversation without taking shots at each other yeah well it's like, like and, I, and i get it like oh okay we're boys you know da, 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 you gotta yeah. but it's just like there's another there's different ways to you know i think i think all men have their moments though because you know how um all men have their moments because you know how um they'll have their comedic moments like when you're hanging out with your boys <laughs> you have the jokey moments where you guys make fun of each other then wow. you have the serious moments where nobody's making fun of each other mm-hmm. i think we just have it's like having different personalities like but that's the thing like even now because like yeah when we were younger you know we we kind of did that but like even now when we're having fun it's never a personal thing we'll make jokes about situations or scenarios mm-hmm. or like someone ending up in a bad like being in a we'll bad make fun of the the hurt and bad shit yeah like the me and the ladder in the roof right like we joked about you that you know what I'm saying but, but I'm it's not like if I like... fell off and broke my leg <laughs> we'd still <laughs> laugh <laughs> but, but it's <laughs> never like a personal attack no it's not on your it's appearance not. your character Any you know what I'm saying it's just situations situations I've noticed that it's always right. about it's situational comedy you know especially like when we're making fun of each other mm-hmm. but it, it never gets personal where we'll make fun of someone's appearance no because it's like what the fuck no you know what i'm saying it's like uh it's like that tiktok uh meme where they were playing video games he's like man i hope i hope when uh somebody comes to my uh, when i um i hope when i'm depressed somebody comes uh and talks to me he's like i'm not gonna talk and then they start making fun of him remember that <laughs> oh yeah, yeah he's like <laughs> i'm not even gonna come to your funeral Bro, if, you, even... if you commit suicide or something like that it's like if you're about to end it don't call me because i'm not answering <laughs> and oh, they and they're just and they're just laughing oh, but, that's crazy. but at the end of the day if 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 um somebody else was looking at it from outside and thought they were being serious it's like you don't play with shit like that but then because they're boys they understand that it's a it's a joke like if something really were to happen you talk to your boys oh yeah for sure so i'm on the way yeah exactly no what time. exactly that's what i'm saying so it's like if, if a situation if a situation is going down or or you just need somebody to chill with or anything like that you, you, the boys are right in the picture so I, I don't think a lot of people understand that the way men communicate with each other is way different than how women communicate with each other you see what i'm saying right. so we joke around about about serious topics but that's because we can see the comedic aspect Absolutely. of those topics but then we can transition to it never feels personal no it's like, it, it, right. it's never it never is it's and never personal. and and we can also transition into the personal and then be serious and for that like, moment oh, especially yeah. if your boys really need you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what I love, and that's what I love about um, the people that we know, our closest friends, and all that stuff like that. It's like they can all the and they can all come to you when um, you need them the most. Okay. But then they'll also give you your space if you if you just want them to step back. And it's like that's facts. And right now we brotherhood we, we've gone through a whole we, we, the whole space thing, and I'm gonna see Caleb for the first time in like. Shit, since New Year's, bro. Since we, hey, man's since been we grinding. went camping, man's been grinding. So we did New Year's camp trip back mm-hmm. uh, December thirty first, bro. Went out to the campgrounds, camped out there, grilled fireworks. Just caught up about what happened throughout the year. Yeah, how did you fare during the hurricane? All that, and then 
It's been five months since. No, six months now. And uh, he just got a new dog, bro. Name. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it's another dachshund, but it's like, it's multicolored, though. Really? Like, yeah. Like white, like brown? Like... It's like white with brown spots. And okay, stuff. Cool. right. What's the What's the name of the dachshund? Nimbus. Nimbus, After bro. Dragon Ball? Oh, man, it's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. I'm just going to call him Cloud. Yep. Call him Cloud. I'm going to call you Cloud. Everyone has to call you Nimbus. I'll just call you Cloud. Mm -hmm. Why are you going? Why are you going? We come around. His name is name it. Well, his name's Cloud to me. Yeah, he's gonna respond to Cloud. The moment I say Cloud, the dog's gonna know I'm here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's Uncle Jeff. You're right. So now Frankie's gonna be a big brother now. Awesome. That's cool, man. That's fire. I, I think it's cool that they let Frankie kind of get all the love and stuff. Yeah. Let him get a little bit old. Mm -hmm. You know, like you know, what I'm saying that way he doesn't get jealous. You know. Oh yeah, for sure. And 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 I noticed that's how a lot of uh, dog owners are. Like they. And, and not to say that's what he's doing, but a lot of people get um, a puppy as soon as the other dog is grown because, you know, the transition to once the... Once the we going to get Bruce a... No. <laughs> no. And this is not me being ruthless. Just, <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? Just said I ain't thinking about none of that no. shit. Damn. No. Bruce is the, the first and last because I the don't want... The one and only? The one and only. Damn. And I, and I understand why Skyler did not want another dog. Like, he was thinking about why it. Why is that? Huh? Why? Well, no, he was thinking about it. Like, him and, him and his wife, they mm -hmm. were thinking about it. But at the end of the day, they're like, well, I'm never home. I'm never going to have time to take care of the dog. And on top of that... Now when, you're going to have two of them holes. Exactly. Oh, well, on top of that, now you're... If, if your if your job is is like a homebody for like the mo most of the time, uh -huh. where you know you can make money from home and and, and take the dog wherever you want or mm -hmm. take the dog with you, that's understandable. But if you know you're going to be working twenty four seven, all that stuff like that, and you're barely going to be home, then what's the point of having a dog? The dog is a companion. That's fair. Well, he'll have a companion. Yeah, but and then it'll be up to no good tearing but, up all your shit. But I know I'm going to cry like a little baby when he dies. Why would I want to keep going through that every single time? And a lot of dog owners do go through that, which is why I understand why they keep getting another dog. Or they'll get one dog, oh, wait, yeah. for, wait for it to hit like four or five years, and then they'll get a baby to replace that dog. Why don't we just clone him? Huh? You got 50 grand? No, no, no. Why don't we clone him while he's still alive, bro? <laughs> <laughs> he gonna look at himself as, I don't like trip. you that's gonna be trip like as fuck that's gonna be true what yeah. if they start like synchronizing so oh like fusion yeah <laughs> get the fuck out of here this man took it to a whole nother level you took it to soul a soul transfer another level he's gonna be like put me in the machine man I'm about right. to transfer to this younger Seriously, body like, what if you cloned him while he was still alive like would he lose half his soul or something? Like I don't that? know. Like it split in two, that'd be some, that'd and then be just regenerates to come become a full soul. I need to see if I could Google that. Is there a dog that's alive that was cloned and the dog? Uh, unless there's like a rule where you can't clone them until they die. Well, didn't you say that even though dog owners clone their dog, one clone will do something specific that the other dog that did? the other dog did, but won't like the, the their mannerisms or their personality it splits. Split. Yes, exactly. Like the lady who cloned her one. What do you call those weird... Her Yorkie. She cloned her Yorkie like 10 times. Mm -hmm. And they had like 10 versions of her original Yorkie. And they each had a, a mannerism that her Yorkie had combined. Mm -hmm. You know, so... I don't know. But I think that would be cool if we cloned him while he was still alive. Yeah. And he had to grow up with himself, himself. <laughs> <laughs> no that's weird that's, that different. Be, that's different that because then we would know how bruce would have been as a puppy really mm, though I, I, that's true. I mean sir, I certain mean, different circumstances that's what i was about to say yeah that's true because they had him they dumped him and then we we met him at but that'd be so cool like yeah. he would understand him yeah that's true yeah he would understand himself they just look at you baby dog faced eye wanting to eat food just looking at you but low key that would be kind of creepy I'm not gonna lie no. something's especially creepy especially if that. it just stands in the hallway yeah. and looks at you yeah cause he already does weird ass shit some weird creepy ass shit I don't want two of them doing that yeah exactly so no but for like I said for dog owners they can do that but for me I can't keep going through that turmoil you know what I'm saying cause it's already it's, al it's already hard thinking about it now knowing Word. knowing he's already um he got a lot of time. Yeah, knowing he's already eight years old, but it's like, nah, I, I'm not gonna, 
I'm not going to keep putting myself through that. No, because I love him. He's awesome. He's amazing. Dogs have more rights than any other animal. <laughs> right? I'm pretty sure they'll have a... a uh, a bruh, they anti-aging eat, bruh, bruh, right they they or make them age like humans after they cure like humans. insert human dna and they no, they let's evolve into let's their brains that. develop nope, nope. <laughs> i ain't trying to have no animorph i'm a leader of the bitch, the dog race no nah, stop that would be weird I, that shit will press a doggo dog you going you going to get the furries excited jeff you need to watch out <laughs> oh shit i was even thinking about that <laughs> you going to get the furries excited my like, white humanoid dogs bro, bro what the fuck hey, we going to have some hybrid children <laughs> you what you said get the furries excited right what do you think is going to happen jeff no. <laughs> they're no. just going to live together in I harmony stop <laughs> no see 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 I give an inch and this man. I take three takes miles. It. No, you take it to Mars, bitch. You take that shit to space. I look at the end result and no, what this is going to happen. No, have. no, no. You're sick. Oh, uh, you're shit. You're fucking sick. Oh, my God. Fuck, man. But, no. Nah, that's that. No, that's. um. But that's why I wouldn't do it, man. I really I would. That. I really wouldn't do it. Like I said, Bruce is awesome. He's very unique. And clones will never be like the original is what i would say you can gain the mannerisms and all that stuff like that but it's just it's, it's not wait but what about star wars the clones had different personalities that's a hypothetical no it's not no all science we're fiction, not there yet stop all science fiction that. is theoretical okay never hypothetical all right we'll be dead so it doesn't matter we won't ever know <laughs> golly but no i wouldn't do that with bruce hey, he's gonna be the first thing he's gonna be the last because like i say he's an amazing dog the interaction that he's had with everybody that we brought here mom fell in love with him and was afraid of him at the beginning notice that he's a bro big old, i was afraid of yeah afraid. afraid of him at the beginning he's a big old pudge ball he's awesome i mean his mannerisms besides always wanting food is 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 there but i wouldn't yeah that man oh, is man. that that man lives for food what a fat ass <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh man golly so, man but no 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 his energy is awesome and all that stuff like that, and i just can't replace it it's like um it's like uh, with Skylar and Jet, man. They had a special bond. That was like, fire. So I mean, and I met and I met him and got into that, and I cried like a little baby when when he died. Yeah, and it's like fun. now imagine Bruce. So I can't. I, I'm not gonna do that. So I, he'll well, be I was like that with who was a fat ass. Yeah, because he he lived so long. He lived so long. He lived so long, and then you he were there so in long. his final moments. In his final moments. Yep. So held that little man in my arms, yeah. bro. But no, Which like I said, I, I'm, and that's why I said I, I'm a one and done man. I can't, I can't do that over again. So that's it's fine. like when when I do have kids, it's like what? How am I gonna have that conversation? If well, that, when, when they get a pet, when they ask for a dog, well, take care of the dog, and it'll live long enough until they're like grown. Yeah, you know that's, true. that's true. And and then they'll be old enough to process the death of the dog. Yeah, that's true. So you think it, we should start? They should start small. No. Have the kid, mm -hmm. and then get the dog. Like when you, they're like five, six, because the dog will last till they're like right. thirteen. 15. If you if you get a specific breed, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. true, that long. true, true. Usually the small ones last longer, last longer, right? Okay. I got you. Which is weird, because it's like it, it's inverse, right? Mm -hmm. At a certain size they, of short. animals, they're you ever short. seen that Kurz Gazat, the size of life? No, I didn't see that one. Right, so you would think, right, okay, so smaller animals, well, no, it's different for every animal, though. Well, because a Great Dane only has nine years. Right. So the bigger the dog, the, the lesser the years. The smaller the dog, the more. Bruce's, Bruce's breed lives from 10 to 12, but if it's really, if you really, really take care of then 15 to 16 years. So Wait, 10 to 12? Yep. This motherfucker ate, and he running around like that. Well, I was told by um, I was told by an uh, uh, an owner of the amp staff that at when they hit ten, that's when the speed. Stopped. It hits him like a brick, like a brick. Damn. So there'll be Speedy Gonzalez from one. They got no vitamins for them. Or nothing? Yeah, they do. I mean, it get may, it, it'll, it'll help with the joints and all that stuff like that. But other than right. that, that's about that. it. But no, as soon as they hit 10, then that's when the speed starts to decrease and then slow. And then the, the older they get, the slower they become. But, um... Damn, but that's not even, like... 
It's not a lot of time. What the fuck? In conclusion. In conclusion. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure he lived his life. He has calluses under his, his paws before. Yeah, we but we don't know what his life was like before then. We found this man Adventurous. emaciated. Adventurous. We found this man emaciated, Jeff. Yeah, that's true. That's different. I don't know what that, like, you know what I'm saying? I want to give him the best. The oh, least. yeah, for sure. And that's what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? You know, so he lives like, here for free. He eats for free. He gets vet, uh, shots for free every single year, even though he hates it now. <laughs> Hey he's, hey, he's a lot more. Chill. Yes, he is. He is. Like uh, when we oh, met that man. that dog with the small chihuahua or whatever it was. We met the dog with the small chihuahua. I mean, we met the lady with the small chihuahua, and all he did was sniff the butt, and that was it. <laughs> but the, the first couple of years that we kept bringing him to the vet, he would freak the fuck out. Yeah, he would tweet. Now he just he's just chill. He, he just lays tweet. down, all that stuff like that. So, but no, no, no. Yeah, Bruce is pretty chill. That's fine. Oh. So let's jump into the TED. Yeah, talk. absolutely. That was a fire. That was a fire TED talk. So I just showed. Now we're transitioning I showed to the you, next topic. This man, <laughs> you the narrator now. Albany's. Oh wait, no, that's an advertisement. <laughs> no, give me my cut. No free advertisement. Right. What the? I'm censoring that. Exactly. Shit. What the hell? Um, but yeah. Uh, earlier today, I I showed mom. A TED talk that came out about nine days ago about wireless energy. I think that's amazing. Because I always talk about, you know, the whole theory of the lost humanity and mm-hmm. stuff like that. There's a channel out there called Divergent. Check him out. He only has like 100 subscribers. He's getting up there. I would love for people to check him out. Because, like, even if you don't believe in what he says, he raises some... Some interesting ideas mm-hmm. to really think about. That really gets your brain chugging. You know what I'm saying? And he always kind of finds these like uh, the these infrastructures that predate the Industrial Revolution, mm-hmm. but are post Age of Exploration. Yeah, and they're like very complex structures. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, he always claims, like, there's this era of lost humanity, of this lost knowledge that built these insane megastructures, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And and uh, there was a period of time where, I guess, a new humanity came in, where it's like, they didn't understand these megastructures and their purpose and the technology that went into making them. Yeah, like So exactly. they were just, they just lived, they just were tenants of these structures the new humanity that came along you know um and like you could see examples of okay what technology was used to build this complex structure they couldn't find any when you don't see any you know heavy machinery Mm -hmm. when you don't see when the earth's population wasn't even a billion at the time yeah you see what i'm saying and you see people pushing buggies walking in huts and stuff like that and there's these mega structures behind them and i'm not talking about ancient mega structures no yeah you're talking about the the, right the four pillars like the four pillars you know and and it's like it's pretty interesting to kind of see that and it's there's like this era of lost knowledge where i'm guessing humanity reached a point of understanding how reality and the universe worked and that's what allowed them to to build these things yeah and and you'll see examples where you'll see you know these large streets and these buildings with uh uh, street lamps or 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 lights and stuff like that there's there's no wires or power lines or anything like that Mm -hmm. it's like where is this power coming from how was this all of this managed because this was before gasoline. Yeah, that's true. Because you, you had saying? lamps that that, were, that that was powered by itself, and you're like, okay, how is this possible? If, right, if like they and, have and, the technology and right. these giant structures, dude. Like these giant detailed structures. Mm-hmm. You know, um, this isn't shit that we dug up. You know, what I'm saying this isn't something that we dug up. They just were there. Like if you went to Brazil or Spain or Mexico during those times before like the new wave of humanity came and kind of destroyed it and built their infrastructure Mm -hmm. like these things were really really advanced you know what i'm saying like advanced structures that they built 
And I always just kind of like to, you know, float the idea that, yeah, like, there was an old humanity. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There was an old humanity that, that kind of died out. And that knowledge wasn't passed on. So, yeah, right. of course, we had to kind of deconstruct their achievements into the four pillars gotcha. of STEM. You know what I'm saying? And over time, each field of STEM advanced as far as it possibly could, you know, into understanding. And, and together, y- you can reach an understanding on the nature of reality, mm-hmm. of life, of biology, everything, mm-hmm. of science, you know. And um, uh, what was it? And uh, like, And I just feel like we're reaching that peak where the base of STEM is essentially culminating into what AI is. Mm -hmm. And AI will essentially be the base for the next step in... in Human evolution. In in human understanding of... Okay. Of of the nature of reality. Reality, okay. You know what I'm saying? And, And that includes, of course, expanding on harmonics. You know, because harmonics really explains reality Mm -hmm. everything exists as a wave everything is a quantum system a different frequency a different frequency a different wave Mm -hmm. function you know what i'm saying everything has a different wave function you know so harmonics will be the basis for the next step Mm -hmm. of human understanding Mm -hmm. because we use classical mathematics and and uh to understand you know the rigid boundaries of reality at the time. Well, um, I can't remember the name of that show with uh, that black actor that we watched. He was an alien that came to Earth. Oh! But what did he use in order to create unlimited energy? Frequency, music, music, harmonics. harmonics. They started playing classical music. Right. And then they, they matched the frequency of it and then they created Right. Harmonics. And, and, and that's the thing. Like, because everything in reality is just a wave. Yeah. And the highest version of that is just light. Mm-hmm. That's why everything is E equals MC squared. You, Everything is light squared. Everything is light squared or the divis, divis, the square root of light. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's, that's the breakdown of everything. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like... I don't know. Like AI is just the culmination of all that the four pillars of of humanity of of understanding of knowledge yeah finally culminate into one system which would be ai and ai would just kind of be our base that would be our base system like we don't have to go back and re-understand you know uh um one plus one yep we don't need to focus on that that it, it won't be uh of any use that's just a fact of reality Mm -hmm. one plus one is two Mm -hmm. there's no way to challenge that we don't care in this universe one plus one will always equal two yep you see what i'm saying and and you can say that so on and so forth throughout you know uh uh, analog uh, or so classical math modern math Mm -hmm. you know uh classical computing digital computing you know what i'm saying even in biology, you know, just understanding as much as we can in biology. So, are you saying the fundamentals of math will be unnecessary anymore because there's a different, there's going to be a different? It's way all to- AI. AI will just under like we have AI for that. Yeah, but will it all be taught to this next? You don't gen- need to teach them one plus one. Equals no, not one plus one. The oh. frequency. Oh, harmonics. Harmonics. That would be that would be nice. So you think that's going to be something? Harmonics and quantum computing. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, harmonics and quantum computing. Like, I feel like... Every generation is smarter than the previous. What's well, not even just smarter? It's just... There are just things... That will just become... AI will be our common sense. Mm-hmm. Common sense before was just the sense to survive. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Our, 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 instinct, our, our instinct for survival mm-hmm. was common sense. And then we kind of built up you know knowledge from that Mm -hmm. so start from common sense and then we just kind of built our knowledge and understanding from things that we just knew okay you see what i'm saying it's like there was a point in time where no one knew one plus one equals two nope 
Now everyone just knows one plus one equals, equals two. two. There was a point in time where we didn't know water was H2O. Remember you were considered smart back in the 90s? Uh, oh, I like, uh, I drink di uh, dihydrogen oxide or some shit like <laughs> Dihydrogen <laughs> monoxide or some uh, shit like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like a fucking weird nerd and you were super smart. Mm -hmm. Dihydrogen monoxide. It's like, no, we all know water's H2O now. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's not something new. It's a Mickey Mouse molecule. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's common sense now. Nobody cares. So why do we need to keep teaching? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Especially when you have a database with the infinite knowledge of all science since modern science began. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And of course, the history behind all that modern science is all in a database. That's accessible to the world. Why do we need to teach it in the school? That's true. That just changes education. Because, uh, like you said, a lot of a lot of a lot of students are learning how to speak before they even start school by right. watching videos or learning uh, or, or learning things right. by just listening. All right. So language is already picked up at a younger age before they even reach eight. Uh, eight um, old, right. Before they're even old enough to go to school. Kids so. can learn engineering from wherever now mm -hmm. instead of having to go to a vocational school or a specific curriculum to learn that it's just open knowledge yeah you see what i'm saying so we've moved past the tangibles of this reality with what we've discovered through uh uh uh, uh stem fields you know in engineering and whatnot and of course harmonics falls into that but it's just the next level it's the next level of math you know what i'm saying it's the next level of understanding the nature of reality mm -hmm. And of course, quantum computing plays into that. Uh, or it's like reality exists in a quantum state. It's yes and no until it's observed. Everything is yes and no until it's, it's observed. observed. Doesn't matter what it is. Does not matter what it is. Mm -hmm. And it all starts with C squared, light. Mm -hmm. Light. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, if we can move on from this... Mm -hmm. Which is where I think that's that's where we're headed. That's essentially the next step. That's yeah. the next step. And then we kind of expand or bridge the gap between classical mathematics mm -hmm. and harmonics. Mm -hmm. And in addition, apply quantum computing to that. Mm -hmm. You'll start seeing crazy shit. Well, like you said, too, once we figure out all the frequencies, we'll be able to do the impossible. Crazy shit. Yeah like fly manipulating matter space time mm -hmm. by just tuning into that frequency to a different frequency yes what is the wave function of i don't know like air this table all right can i match my frequency with and with phase, a, and phase, and right phase through, right through right this through table. table yeah you see what i'm saying yeah. like that's going to be some crazy shit mm -hmm. and we may see it in our lifetime if the technology catches up because everything is exponential and even the timeline i set for us it's starting to look like poo shit. Yeah. You see what I'm no, saying? No, I, I see that, yeah. Because so you, like, you always said 2025 or 2030, and now you're just throwing that out the window because every time the expectation is supposed to be at a certain time, you we surpass it, and it's like, all right, right just fuck it. I'm, fuck not, it. Even, I'm not even going to do it anymore. When yeah. it happens, it happens, right? Yeah. Because we don't know the future. Mm -hmm. We don't know the future. That's why it's impossible to observe the future. Gotcha. Because you can't observe it. No, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But the past, I don't know. I don't know. Fourth dimensional. That'd be different. Yes. You think that would allow us to break? I don't know. I think we would brain break ourselves. That's why I would say. How far do you think? Yeah, we would God brain break will allow ourselves. This? Well, here's the thing. We ate the apple. Whatever happens, happens. That's true. You see what I'm saying? Whatever happens, happens. We ate the apple. That is knowledge just, is power. That is just the fate of humanity mm -hmm. till the end of un, un, until the end of days. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like that's just the fate of humanity until the end of days. Mm -hmm. You know, so regardless if he wipes us out again, that's still our fate because we ate the apple. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, hey man, either you chose that or live forever. Yeah, no, I get it. I got you, man. You know, yeah. and of course we chose the apple. So we can't live forever. So it'll take generations for us to achieve what those achieved in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like before the 
the flood mm -hmm. and the you know sh the shortening of our lives of our lives yep and stuff like that yeah. but um yeah man the, but that that leads us into you know just wireless energy yep that's awesome and that just all deals with waves oh, yeah and you're showing me an example of a company called guru that use, literally uses wireless energy wireless where energy where you won't need a battery a switch right. or anything like that it right. just literally uh absorbs the solar panels from the sun and then uses wireless energy to bring the energy down to right. earth and of course you can use it for anything they can you. change the frequency of the waves in which mm -hmm. uh uh you receive it the 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 power source mm -hmm. is propagating them and they can either amplify them direct them change directions mm -hmm. so you can change the directions of of waves by oscillating each wave at a different frequency mm -hmm. you can have it point left right straight you know what I'm saying? Because you're working with interference. Mm -hmm. And that comes back to harmonics. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? That just comes back to harmonics. They're like, we've been able to to make data wireless. Why not make energy wireless? Wireless. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's absolutely possible. We literally saw it. And it's literally the most mind-blowing thing I've ever, like, I've seen. It's so, it's jarring, almost. Because it's like, you'll have homes without outlets. You'll have TVs without cables, sound bars. Well, like you said, that's why they started working on the wireless sound bars, yeah. the wireless TVs, because they're slowly transitioning yeah. into that. Like we were talking about, like mom moved into a home where she was screwing in light bulbs, but I built a home that uses LED lights. LED lights. So it's like, I don't even... I you don't ever got to screw a light bulb Screw a light bulb in because there is no screwing the light bulb unless you decide to change it. But other than that, no. You never got to screw a light bulb in? No. Because everything, uh, yeah, everything is spotlights, LED spotlights, lights. And, they, and LED lights last for a long time. All right, there's these tiny little diodes. Like, you don't got to worry about... Yeah, man. So it's just like... I don't know. And even batteries may go obsolete with wireless power. So we're no longer going to need battery storage. You won't need vehicles. battery storage. Yep. Right. You know what I'm saying? You won't need battery storage. It will just have the receiver, mm -hmm. the antenna, to receive that power. Yeah. No, I get it. That's so crazy to me, man. That's so interesting. You know? And, and like, I had that conversation with me, and that kind of went into the whole, we explained the nature of light you know and then we went into harmonics and it's like i've always went over these concepts with her so much like it was so easy to explain it to her this time around because the first time i started explaining it to it to her it was almost supernatural but then as she started to understand the nature of well you play enough videos and 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 dissect it for her she right. literally starts to understand because right. mom is curious but she likes to learn that's right. what i love about it All right so and I always tell her, I'm like, you gotta understand, all this, everything's connected. Everything's connected. Yep. No, I agree. I agree. Everything is connected. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I always say, there's no. This was the right decision. This was the wrong decision. Mm -hmm. The decision is the decision. The moment you made it. Yep. No, I agree. You know what I'm saying? You never know the future. The future is a cloud of. Of, quantum probability. Mm -hmm. It's just a cloud. You don't know. You don't know. That's why it's like when we have what was it discovered the 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 fifth state or the sixth state? No, the fifth state of matter, the time crystal. That's crazy as fuck. Yeah, and that's the thing. They already invented it. Like it'll it exist. It'll change its structure, and after a period of time, it'll restructure itself to the T, to the on the atomic level to what it was before. But and it just oscillates between two forms. But like you said, if you can tap two it, states. its frequency, if you understand right. it, then that's it. Like, why is that happening? It's returning to a point in time. It's returning to a state that it was in a previous point in time. Yeah. That's like an ice cube melting and then coming right back into its original form. And then it just oscillates between those two states. states. Okay. Melt solid, melt solid. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But the structure of the time crystal will change into like one version and then after a number amount of times it'll revert to okay i see what you're saying back to its original state that's crazy that's awesome that's amazing you see what i'm saying yeah so it's just like we're reaching a point where it's like 
even I'm not understanding what the fuck. But <laughs> yeah, you're trying to keep up. I'm trying to keep up. And so they're gonna be like, if you want to understand, Neuro- right? Neuralink. <laughs> I'm, I'm, dog, that'd be crazy. Human trials. I have wonder begun. how weird that would be to have something that thinks for you, or it feeds you information. No, but how? Like you always feel that you're in control of your thoughts. But you might not be in control of your thoughts. But you get what I'm saying, mm-hmm. though. Like whatever you think. That's okay, scary. You, okay, you're never in control of your thoughts, mm-hmm. but like you still feel like you have some autonomy over. It's a false illusion, right? You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like, for something to be, I don't know, to put information in your brain mm-hmm. without you using your senses is very weird. Like, imagine a point in time you have this neural link in your brain. Mm-hmm. And it will make you remember what it feels like to be burned, but you've never been burned. Been burned. That's dangerous. Like, imagine if it could have you simulate death without dying. That's too broken. Do you understand how crazy that is? Like, it can get... Yeah. It, very weird. If somebody figures out how to hack the system, yes. I, it'll get Especially when weird. you say simulate death and then it actually kills the person. Like a person will stop breathing because they think they're not breathing. Or they think they can't breathe. That's dangerous. Well, you can't think if you're dead. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's the one thing we'll never understand. Yep. Life after death. But there is no life after death. That's a contradiction. That's a whole nother topic. Because death is absolute. No, that's facts. <laughs> that's facts. That's a whole nother concept. Well, physical death. Yeah, of course. Of course. Physical death is absolute. Of course. But it's like, that's when you start getting into the weird shit where it's like consciousness and, you know, and I don't know, man. We're headed, we're, we're going somewhere weird. You're going down the rabbit hole. Yep. Let me, let's, let's get out of that. But yeah, that was... <laughs> <laughs> that was that was an interesting interesting thing that I saw. No, it was. It was. Like I said, I um the first time you, you showed it to me, I was like, Man, my jaw just kept dropping because I'm like, this is amazing. Mm-hmm. The, the the predictions that that humanity, you, everybody keeps making, it's just off. Like we th- we're giving they get scientists gives us a timeline on when we're going to reach what we're going to reach but it we keep breaking it see here's the thing scientists give us a timeline but it's the engineers that shut them up yep that's true that's true it's the engineers unless you're behind the wheel you can't you can't you yeah. can't predict what's going to happen yeah anyway. yep yep it's the engineers that shut them up mm-hmm. and i'm guessing their plan was to send these rollable panels into space that'll collect uh, energy from the sun. The rays, you know yeah. what this starts to give? The flexible panels, yeah. Yeah, but you know what this starts to really kind of get my brain chugging? What? The Dyson Swarm. What is that to people who do not know um, what it is? So, originally it was the Dyson Sphere mm-hmm. where we would create this mega structure around the sun, mm-hmm. encapsulate it, absorb the energy and beam that energy to earth Mm -hmm. and we're literally harnessing the power of the the sun sun. in the palm of your hands in the palm of your hands you know what i'm saying and and not even on some fusion shit but no literally building a mega superstructure Mm -hmm. to encapsulate the sun and just use the sun for everything Mm -hmm. because you remember the the thing that kind of defines the the Kardashev scale of a civilization, the level, of the advancement of a civilization is the amount of energy they can use. And if you harness the power of the sun, everything costs nothing. And they don't want that. Every Well, no, Jeff, you need to understand. We're going to go to a point in time where monetary value means absolutely nothing. nothing. Like, th- that's what we need to get away from. Like... You uh, own nothing. Pro- providing. And like, you will be happy. Trying to put a cost to everything. Space doesn't give a damn how much you think something costs. Mm-hmm. Unless they try to create a monetary system. Because then you will infinitely try to assign a price to something. Yep. That is now available galactically. Yep. Interstellarly. 
That's I think that's why they're trying to do away with. And you see, this, th- this is why. And and as nerdy as this is going to sound, and my Star Trek listeners are going to understand, this is why I love Star Trek. Because no one ever bought or spent anything. Why? Why do you need to? Even food was free. Right. All they had to do was do their jobs of exploration. Right. Nobody right. paid for nothing. Knowledge is the currency. Exactly. <laughs> the more that's you know, it was. the more you can <laughs> that's obtain. That's literally all it was. Right. And that's why I love Star Trek, because it literally gets rid of what we're talking about They're going right to start democratizing the, knowledge. Exactly. Like, the, no, the, the monetary system is obsolete. It's irrelevant. It mm-hmm. does not matter. And that's mm-hmm. why I love it, because you never once see when they do go to a planet or anything like that, them purchase anything. Right. Right. No, that's facts. That's facts. Well, well, isn't that because they're all work for the Federation? Like, literally everything yeah. works for... Besides the Borg. <laughs> we are Borg. Besides the Borg. Doesn't every freaking species work for the Federation? Yep. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's when you establish, like, galactic empires. Yeah. That's when you need to do away with monetary. Monetary. Yep. <laughs> no, I agree. I agree. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I don't know, man. Like, it, it kind of gives me that idea. But the idea of the Dyson Sphere kind of evolved into the swarm. Mm-hmm. Because we realized, that's stupid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just dumb. They just figure to out. To try to build a shell around the, the sun. You can fit 100 million Earths. In the sun. In the sun. Why? How are we going to? What the fuck? We can't even build... It takes us hella years to build infrastructure here. What makes you think we're going to build a... Oh, that's going to take like 900 years. Not even. <laughs> not even. A billion. What oh, the fuck? shit. Generation. But oh, we'll have man. to cryogenically freeze, freeze. people. <laughs> just bro. just join the, just put yourself body in the right frequency and you're set. We'd have to be <laughs> immortal. Wake up. Oh, facts. Yep. Facts. Frequency your body with cryogenic freezing and then, then that again, change it. We wouldn't need to. AI. Yeah, AI will remember it all. <laughs> and just build it. Just build it. But, uh, yeah, but n- the idea kind of changed now into the Dyson Swarm. Okay. Where we just send, like Starlink. Mm-hmm. You just have a swarm of of uh, re- satellites. satellites. That receives the signal. Yeah, that absorbs the energy. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, like we just said with the waves, can direct the waves back to Earth. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like cut through all the bullshit and just cut through all the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So that'd be pretty cool. I got you. All right. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like I wish I could go into more detail, but I don't want to ramble on too much about this. No, I think you're good. But uh, if you guys want to check that out, check out wireless energy, man. Yeah. You might find like ancient shit, like you know the antennas on like ancient buildings and yeah. shit like that. How. A lot of these ancient buildings had antennas. Mm-hmm. These weird looking The antennas. four pillars. Yeah. Or, or magnetrons at the entrance of their door. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You'll know when you see it. You'll know when you see it. You'll know when you see it. Megastructures. Megastructures. Ancient megastructures. Mm-hmm. Mag- one thing you'll see, magnetrons and and uh, the antennae on top of the on building. On top of the building. Yep. Yeah. Because the idea was there was wireless power at a time. Mm-hmm. Same thing the way there was electric cars. Yep. There was battery powered cars, mm-hmm. but they did away with it because oil was more lucrative. But it was a limited resource. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But all right, man. I just uh, I just have two things to say because I know that Sundays um, we're not we're not gonna be recording Sunday. But Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Because hey. this Sunday is um, Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, and, YouTube. And to all the men out there, Happy Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. Yes, sir. Um, stay strong. Uh, we recognize you. And, of course, just uh, be safe. Get the help that you need. If you do need help, or talk to your boys. Because, mm-hmm. again, they might make fun of you and clown you, but they're there to listen. They love you, bro. Yep, yep. Your boys but, love um, you. That's basically all I wanted to say about that. But... Uh, no, but like seriously though, happy Father's Day to all the happy Father's to Day. all the fathers out there. Um, but um, guys, thank you for joining us at, um, on our live. 
If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, Triple T Clips channel, and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the episode. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And of course, leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing on the show. But guys, again, thank you for joining us at the Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and or day. Thank you, thank you.